This tutorial will explain how to add Modbus RTU data servers to NXT SD5. Ensure you're logged in with administrator credentials and select the system menu and then select options, which is identified by a gear icon. Within the Options dialog, use the Page button in the top right corner to change screen until the networking options are visible. A new data server can be created by clicking the Add Data Server button. Choose the NXT SD5 port to use for the Modbus RTU data server. Ports used to communicate with devices like NXF4000 are already in use, so they won't appear in this list. Once a port has been used for a Modbus RTU data server, it won't be available to communicate with devices. This example will use NXT SD5's port 2. Multiple Modbus RTU data servers can be created, as long as there are unused COM ports. Once created, the new data server will have its own tab in the Network Options screen. Next, we must configure the new data server. Ensure NXT SD5's Modbus ID is set, and adjust board rate as desired. Finally, the data server must be enabled. When changes are made to the server's configuration, a warning icon will appear next to the Accept Changes button. NXT SD5 can generate a CSV file detailing all of the Modbus RTU server's data points. To perform this, ensure a USB disk drive is attached to the NXT SD5. The Export Tags button won't be accessible if a USB drive is not attached. Click on Export Tags once it's enabled. You will be advised when export is complete. Change to the Options Miscellaneous screen and ensure you properly eject the USB drive before removing it from NXT SD5. The created files will appear on the USB drive in a FireEye folder. They will have the same content as the Modbus TCP server files. Check the previous tutorial for an explanation of these files. Next, connect across the network with a Modbus RTU client. In this example, we're using ModScan. Set the Modbus address the client communicates with to 1, which is the same as the NXT SD5 server. NXT SD5 provides data through Modbus holding registers. In this example, ModScan is using COM port 3 on a PC. Connect the client with the appropriate COM settings. The connection is valid because we can see real-time data provided by NXT SD5. Within the Modbus client, View data address 40380, which is boiler 1's off and on control. When a new value of 1 is written, NXT SD5's Modbus RTU server receives the command from the client and turns boiler 1 on. Let's test another point. Within the Modbus client, data address 40383 is Boiler 1's auto or manual mode control. When a new value of 1 is written, NXT 
NXT SD5's Modbus RTU server receives the command from the client, and in turn changes the mode. Modbus RTU servers can be disabled and removed, if they're no longer required. 